What's up, people? We're back with another YouTube gym vlog. Today is going to be a glute focused leg day. I've been trying to film this glute leg day for quite literally two months, and every single time something just goes wrong, but not today, not today. That's not happening. I finally have it here for you. We're starting with glute kickbacks. I frankly do not like this machine very much, but the one that I want to use is still taken, so. I'm gonna go with this. I wanna get the glute nice and fired up. I recently added a glute focused leg day to my split because I think my quads are starting to overpower my glutes just a little bit too much and I wanna have balance. And frankly, I wanna build a bigger, bigger shelf. So I'm gonna start off with this isolation movement. Just to basically warm up the glutes. I already did some dynamic stretches. not a bad exercise to start off with. It's definitely not gonna like build your glutes substantially just off kickbacks alone, but definitely great warm up because we're just getting into it. By the way, it's literally midnight. <laughs> yeah, literally midnight. There's like 15 people in this leg room. I came here later at night because I didn't think there was gonna be anyone here. So yeah, I'm doing two sets of these and then we're gonna get actually into the workout. Okay, next we're doing hip thrust. What's new? I'm just gonna go right into my working set. I mean, I'm already pretty warmed up. This is like hella high. I'm gonna tilt it down a little. So I got these super cute cargo shorts from the mall today. I'm obsessed with them. Love a good pump cover. I also got them in navy blue. And they were like $7. Okay, it might be time for the hair to go up. It's pretty early in the workout for the hair to go up, but it's it's getting there. For this, we're gonna do a superset, or technically a tricep. We're gonna do 10 four inch hip thrust superset, 10 calves bridges, and then a 10 second hold. So, 10 to 12, but I, I don't like these. <laughs> but they're like one of the best exercises and I'm trying to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Here we go. It's definitely time to put the hair up. Who am I kidding? And I got this BBL jacket on. Uh-uh. Killer. Great glue pump. Okay, so I have no hair tie. That's just perfect. Wonderful, no hair tie for me. Okay, perfect. So the last time I did hip thrust, or not the last time, but one of the very first times before I tried to film this vlog, I kind of like really hurt my back. So that was awful, story time. And then like I went on, I was like, I cannot walk from after doing this hip thrust incorrectly. Like I kept over extending my back like way too much, but I, I couldn't do it. And it was on the machine hip thrust too, which you couldn't really tell that it was like hurting until the very end when I got up. 
That was killer. And then I got up and then I still went on to do RDLs. I don't know what I was thinking. Luckily, I bounced right back. I'm gonna put some Propel in my water. This has electrolytes and it will replenish me after this very long glute day that I'm about to have. So I'm gonna do one more set of this and I'm gonna move on. I've been trying to wear my hair less in slick backs because my curls are really suffering. They really are. I was wearing a lot of slick backs, a lot of hats, and honestly, I just was not maintaining it even when it wasn't in those hairstyles, so. But still, wearing this whole head of hair down, it's hot. Goodness, sorry. Let's do this thing. Yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> okay, next up we have some RDLs, glute focused RDLs. So with glute focused RDLs, I'm gonna do like a very dramatic knee bend and really focus on the glutes. Like the hamstrings just like don't matter to me right now on a glute focused leg day. Well, I mean, obviously they do, but you get what I'm saying. Ben. I'm using this machine mainly because it's far away from people. Again, it's literally midnight and there's so many people here. So very dramatic knee bend and a very dramatic hinge. Really just focusing on the glutes. I'm doing slow and controlled on the way up and on the way down. I was 12, I definitely have to go up. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna put some more weight. I did these, my last glute sesh, and they felt pretty good. We'll see if I go up. But with this machine, like the heavier you go, the more it kind of like makes you lean forward, which is hard because this thing gets in the way. bro I was like it's good that you're hitting the amount of reps for this weight but that means I could go heavier <laughs> uh, all right another 10 each side I look at low iron so this exercise is kind of making my right eye go a little black Next set. I think it's time for the pump cover to be gone. All right, folks, how's it looking? It's looking good, I already know. I got these new shorts, so I'm feeling good. All right. 
I gotta lock in. Oh God, okay, wait, hold on. Why did I try to lift it up like that? Okay, there we go. All right, slow. Okay, next up we got single leg step up. I'm um, doing these on the good morning machine. I guess this is technically the reverse hack squat machine, whatever. I'm using these for step ups. I actually haven't done these in a while. I had like a little step up phase where I loved them for like three weeks straight and then I just didn't do them ever again. <laughs> so. I don't even know how much weight I can do. I'm gonna try for eight to 10. Hinge back, slight touch. You don't wanna rely on the back leg at all and drive through the working leg. Okay, it seems like my right leg is weaker. Like I've, you're supposed to start with like your non-dominant leg. I don't know why I try to talk like right after I'm done with the workout. Oh my goodness. My right leg seems to be weaker. And I think it's because I've started so much with my left leg. Cause you're always supposed to start with your non-dominant leg that it's low key become my stronger leg because I start off with it so much. So. I think I need to start switching to my right leg because what the heck. Let's go put on some real weight.
next up is a glute superset. I'm gonna do glute hyper extensions, and then we're gonna superset with some glute medius kickbacks, mainly because I'm trying to finish up my workout a little bit quickly. It is almost like 1.30 in the morning. And also just a good way to end the workout with some good isolation movements. So with a glute hyper extension, you're gonna curve your back a little to really focus on the upper glutes. This is what we're trying to hit, that upper glute, that shelf look. Oops, that is too... <clears throat> sure, that's good, okay. Want that hip height. I feel like there's makeup all over my shirt. Yep. Okay, let's move on. These are just gonna be good old fashioned glute medius kickbacks on this machine. And you're still gonna angle your leg out to hit the medius, but it's just loaded right here near the knee. Well, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed this little glute day. If you are like struggling to grow like your glutes, your quads, your calves, you wanna make sure, oh my God, it got so loud, go ahead in here. Okay, if you're struggling to grow whatever muscle part it is, or you just wanna prioritize it, you need to prioritize it in training. So I was doing a quad and glute leg day, and then I was doing a hamstring and glute leg day. And those were good, right? But I think that right now I'm just trying to prioritize my glutes, so I'm just dedicating an entire day to it. And then quads, one quad day, and then I'll sprinkle in hammies somewhere in between there, just because a girl wants a bigger bottom. I mean, come on. And so if you want, if you want something, you gotta like prioritize it. So that is kind of where I'm at with my workout routine. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next vlog.